Hi, <clears throat> so today I'm going to talk about a question someone asked me, which is how stable are the jobs in, in banking and financial world? Well, I have been working in banking and financial over a decade now, and I have seen uh, people, you know, you know, working in this field for decades, but also some people who have left this field after working for a few years. Uh, so it always confuses me whether this field is stable or not so stable. It's stable for some people, not so stable for others, right? And you get to know that after working for a few years, either finance is for you or it's not for you, right? But by and large, uh, finance is a very stable field in many reasons. There are many reasons behind it. Uh, the first thing is that, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a field where there is some sort of entry barrier. So what is entry barrier? Uh, well, in uh, other sectors, such as let's say e-commerce, uh, anybody can start a company. In manufacturing, it's a bit more difficult uh, to start a company. In ID services, software development, anybody can start a company. But anybody cannot simply start a bank or a financial service company that requires some license, some permission. And it's a very lengthy process. Uh, you know, most countries have got just a couple of banks right so so these banks will definitely sur survive right in the market no matter what the situation is right well there have been many uh, instances when banks have gone uh, bankrupt and then closed down uh, more recently credit suisse went bankrupt and uh, it was then uh, merged with ubs so these things do happen in fact, uh, you know, not long so before, in 2008, many banks uh, were closed because of the financial crisis and a lot of people lost jobs in the banking and financial world. And it was perhaps one of the worst time to, you know, to work in, in the banking and financial world. But um, things have improved a lot thanks to regulation. Uh, now banks are not taking that sort of risk that they used to take in the past. That has obviously has some... Um, yeah, impacts also, for instance, the bonuses haven't been that great since then. But that's good overall, right? That uh, US, the bonuses are less, but at least the jobs are more secured, more stable, right? Not many banks are now going bankrupt because, you know, the regulation is protecting them. Uh, you cannot take just any sort of risk in, in doing businesses. And so profitability is, is very, you know, uh, very certain there are not too many uncertainties around the business of banking nowadays compared to let's say 15 18 years back and compared to other fields for example compared to technology uh, i would say the you know the career in banking and finance is more stable uh, in the field of technology you have new entrants all the time right nokia used to be a top notch company at some point and then came, you know, the smartphone companies, the Samsung and, and the Apple and a few other companies. And, you know, it had to shut down its shop. It's still there, but uh, yeah, not as good as it used to be, right? That has happened to Motorola as well. So in, uh, in, the, in the field of uh, technology, the innovations can actually um, drive some, some of the companies out of the market. That has happened many times. It has happened to... Uh, um, Netscape, it has happened to Yahoo, it has happened to Xerox, it has happened to many, many tech companies in the world. IBM as well. IBM used to be such a you know, big tech company. It has happened to General Electric. It has happened to countless such tech companies. Uh, the innovation uh, is going to drive some of the companies out of them, right? Uh, things are so fast, uh, right? It's, it's, you know, you see the number of programming languages that, has, that have come uh, in, in the last, you know, 20, 25 years. It's just insane number of programming languages, insane number of technologies that are, new sort of technologies that have come. So it's uh, therefore a bit more unstable. There's a new technology, the people working in old technology will, you know, find it very difficult to, uh, you know, get uh, good jobs. <clears throat> and it's not easy to train yourself, at least after certain age of your life, you know, once you become, you know, 30, 35 plus, you have other commitments in life. It's not easy to you know learn things uh, beside your full time job, and not not to mention if you have a family and you have you have kids, then uh, it's practically impossible to learn new things anymore. You don't have time to, and that's quite difficult to keep 
up with the you know the changing things in 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 the in the in the world especially if that requires you to be good at your work in in the workplace so that's the problem with uh, the career in tech um so compared to tech i would say finance is a bit more lot more stable actually right you cannot replace a finance guy who has worked for 10 years in finance impossible doesn't matter how smart you are you may be having an mba finance from harvard business school you simply cannot replace uh, someone who is uh, working in in some banking and finance field for 10 years um, like the domain knowledge is not that easy to sort of uh, replicate ai is a big risk in the field of technology in many other areas but certainly less of a risk in banking and financial world because again the regulation is protecting many regulators are putting you know stringent guidelines as to where ai cannot can be used in 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 the field of finance and why it cannot be used right so in a way it's a blessing in disguise for the employees because then employees will not be replaced with ai i mean you simply cannot rely on ai for investment and, and lending and trading all these decisions cannot be taken using a robot something goes wrong the entire world the financial world will crash and the economy will will crash so nobody is going to take risk on that so from that point of view uh, also there is bit more stability but otherwise also i would say <clears throat> career in banking and finance is relatively more stable uh, there was there was this news item uh, i was reading on financial times that uh, last year many i think um, i think over 60000 people have lost jobs in the banking and financial world in europe and us and i think in other developed countries uh, and that is highest after 2008 financial crisis uh, all right but how many people have lost jobs in the field of technology right i think uh, only in in uh, in twitter itself there has thousands of employees been laid off right it has happened in google microsoft facebook and so on and so forth so so it's it's uh, yeah such a um i mean on a, if you compare that with tech you know the number of people who have lost jobs in the last 20 years in the field of finance and banking is probably much 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 less compared to that in the tech world all right um one other thing is that when there is a macroeconomic event for example interest rate rise right that affected the tech companies lot more compared to that or the of the finance and banking sector companies right in fact banking sector companies are making a lot lot of money uh, during this uh, high inflation uh, times right so overall a job in finance is bit more stable uh of course it depends on where in finance right if you work in investment banking it's probably less stable but if you work in the more technical side of things you work in the it side of things or quant side of things risk management compliance audit i think your job is lot uh, lot stable even if you work in the front office side in some of the mid sized banks except the investment banks the goldman sachs type of banks uh 